We made the most delicious pumpkin cheesecake. It's no bake, it's super simple. Your entire family is gonna love this one. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this crust. It's super easy. This is our no bake crust. Now it's kind of fun, you can make it this way. You can also add in some pumpkin spice if you'd like to have that in there, but we're just gonna make the plain no bake crust. Um, I'm gonna mix everything together and it actually works pretty well. So I've got my almond flour I'm gonna dump in. Then I've got some sweetener. We'll put that in there as well. I prefer powdered sweeteners when I'm not baking something, if I'm just gonna mix it. I'm gonna add in my butter. I have it softened. Makes it easier to mix it together. And then the last thing I'm gonna add in is a little bit of vanilla. Um, I've just got a quarter teaspoon of that. And then we're gonna mix it all together. Now, because this is a no bake, um, whoops, a little extra on there. Um, it's super simple and you can get right into the cream cheese part. So I've just got a pastry cutter here. I'm just gonna mix this stuff together. It's gonna be kind of a crumbly crust, but it is really good. And you can see how simple this is. Now there's lots of ways you can make this. We love, of course, using our eight ounce mason jars. You can also use the small ramekins and that works great. This is no bake, so you can really put in anything. So I use my cookie scoop, it makes it easier. This one's about a tablespoon size. And I'm just gonna start dropping in an equal amount of the dough into each one. And then I'll press it in when I'm done. So now for the pumpkin cream cheese, it's a super simple recipe, but it's got all the fats in it. It's actually really good. So we're gonna start with some cream cheese. I've softened it just a little bit, otherwise it kind of makes a mess when you start to blend it up. Then I'm gonna add in some cream cheese, so, or sorry, sour cream. So we've got the cream cheese, we're adding in some sour cream also. And then I've got one more thing for you here. We have our heavy whipping cream. This adds a little bit of like light and fluffiness to it. It's really good. And the three together really make a delicious taste. Now, obviously this isn't a dish you're gonna have if you're dairy free, um, but it is a fun cheesecake to make, especially during the holiday season. So I'm gonna start just by mixing this up. Start with your beater slow so it doesn't splash and then you can increase the speed. So we're gonna add in a few more ingredients now. I've got my butter that I do have softened so that it mixes in easily. And then I also have my pumpkin. Now this is just pumpkin puree. It's not the pumpkin pie filling. So it doesn't have the pumpkin spice in there. We're gonna add that in in just a minute. So we'll put that in there. And then we're also going to add in our pumpkin spice. Now we make our own, we have a recipe for it. So you can check that out. So we keep it in here for the holiday season. Um, and we will put in a half teaspoon of that. If you want it to be a little bit stronger of a pumpkin uh, flavor, you can add in a little bit more if you want. And then the last thing we're gonna add in is our sweetener. Um, again, I use a powdered sweetener just because it mixes in easy, you don't taste the granulars, and I kinda like the flavor a little bit better. This one is an erythritol only, but you can also get like a powdered monk fruit or powdered erythritol stevia mixes as well. So we'll mix this up and uh, then we'll be ready to serve it. So we just mixed it until everything was fluffy. You're not whipping it to peaks or anything because of all the other cream cheeses and sour creams in there. So now we're gonna start putting it into our, uh, whatever you're gonna serve it in. So for us, it's our eight ounce mason jars. I find that a cookie scoop works the best, not just for portioning it out, but also to get it in without making a mess. So um, you can taste the pumpkin the pumpkin spice in here and the pumpkin, it is really good. So if you don't wanna make a mess, just put your cookie scoop in there and then it comes right out. It almost looks like a little bit of ice cream scoop. It's delicious. So I'll start with two scoops in each one and then we'll kind of see how it goes and we can add more if we need to. So it sat in the fridge for a couple of hours um, or you can make it the day before and eat it the next day, which is super awesome for meal prepping. Um, but you can see it's nice and thick, it's firm, it um, kind of holds its shape, which is easy if you're gonna travel somewhere with it. But we'll go ahead and take a taste. It is so good. The flavor is amazing. It's light and creamy with the no-bake crust. I absolutely love this. I know that you will too.